for me, it is about the law and people. That is not a legal defense, let me tell you. And how people can resolve and better themselves. Justice with passion. I knew I was going to go into law because I always defended everybody. I was always the one who found a solution and tried to resolve the problem by having people talk to each other. Justice with truth. So I'm giving you one more chance to tell me the truth. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Ashton Ryder is suing Tristan Corey in the amount of $400. Mr. Ryder claims his son's surfboard was intentionally destroyed by the defendant after their sons had an accident while surfing. Mr. Corey claims the plaintiff's son deliberately caused the accident when he dropped in on his son's wave and says his own son's board was damaged as a result. So, I have a courtroom full of surfers, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I understand, Mr. Ryder, you are, your son Logan is here. Correct. And uh, Mr. Corey, your son Brooklyn's here, correct? Yes, ma'am. So um, what happened, Mr. Ryder? You are suing uh, Mr. Corey for $400. Yes, for the cost of a new surfboard. Okay. So what happened? Well, Your Honor, uh, the defendant and I, we grew up in the hood, grew up poor. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a rough life growing up. Um, we want to have our sons live a different life, have different opportunities, and... Um, so you guys have known each other, you grew up together? All yes. All of our lives, basically, Your Honor. Okay, were you friends or no? Uh, roughly, we were friends. Our, our dads were in warring gangs, so okay. to speak, so the uh -huh. only time they really got along was when they were in prison for other, dealing with other gangs. Oh, I um, see what you mean. We've okay. known each other for quite a long time, though. All right. Are the boys friends? Yes. Yes. All right, so you guys are, you guys can stand up, because I'm sure I want to talk to you, too. Um, Logan and Brooklyn, are you guys friends? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Really good friends? I mean, we're in the same classes, and we hang out with the same people in the same crowd, so yeah. So you are buddies? Yeah. Huh? We surf together all the time. Oh, you do? Oh. Mm -hmm. do, do the fathers surf together all the time or no? Oh, you guys surf together too? We do. We surf at the same break. It's uh, kind of locals at this place called the Breakwater, Venice Breakwater. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Um, so you guys aren't really friends as in the dads, but the boys are friends, but so what happened on this day because you're suing the Corys for $400? I imagine it's for that broken surfboard. What do they do to damage the surfboard? Explain this to well, me. Well, Your Honor, we were all surfing at the breakwater. Um, it had been a long time since there had been some surf, so we were all a little antsy. Um, nice set came through. Uh, the defendant's son paddled for the wave, and my son paddled for the wave. Um, the defendant's son caught the wave. It was a beautiful wave, and uh, my son dropped in on him. Okay. Um, they collided, and my immediate reaction was to go over to see if they were okay. Okay. Both boys were fine. Um, the defendant's son had a bit of a ding in his board, but I'm a shaper. I, okay. I make surfboards. So okay. to fix it, I was able to ascertain really quickly that it was something that I could take care of. Hollered that over to the defendant. The defendant didn't seem to really care. Okay. Um, he paddled right, over. Be, before we get to that, um, you'll have to be slow with me because I'm not a surfer. And um, what do you mean he dropped in? Is that where you actually shouldn't? I mean, I'm just so putting there, two together. There are rules and regulations, just like in court here. Okay. Um, one of the rules is when somebody is on the wave closest to uh, the whitewash, you back. that person has the right of way and everybody else backs off. Oh, um, okay. So That's standard it, procedure. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So your son procedure. was in the wrong. He was in the wrong and dropping in. Okay. And you knew that, Logan? Yeah. Okay. So why did you do it? I mean, I know it's bad. I know we shouldn't do it, but... <laughs> Me and Brooklyn do it to each other all the time, and... Is that true, Brooklyn? It, to a point. I mean, we, we all know that we shouldn't do it, okay. and, but, I mean, we're kids. We're just messing around and goofing around, and I, we understand that the breakwater is probably not the place to, to be a kid and goof uh -huh. around, especially with the waves, how they mm -hmm. are. It's a serious place to surf. Mm. So we were both kind of in so the So when you, when you saw him, that Logan dropped in, is that the correct lingo? What did you do? I didn't see him. Uh, oh. I actually, I was really stoked to catch the wave, God. and when I dropped in, I got hit, and I, I didn't realize what, what I got hit by until I saw Logan. Okay. So, what is the worst thing that could have happened to Mr. Corey? If some, well, what's the worst thing that can happen, that can happen when a surfer drops in? 
to, Your Honor, to the other surfer, what Your could Honor, happen? Dropping in is as serious as, as it gets. Mm -hmm. You could literally die from dropping in. Mm -hmm. And so when this happened... You mean the surfer, like as in your son? Oh, absolutely. The surfer that gets dropped in on could be seriously harmed and could even die. Okay. And I say that because I have a friend that was dropped in on years ago. Mm -hmm. We One, have a friend. We have a friend that was dropped in on years ago. 167 stitches in his wow. inner thigh. Wow. Almost lost his manhood. Wow. It's serious. Okay. Dropping in is no joke. Okay. You have your you have your laws in this courtroom. I get it. No, I get we it. We have our laws okay. in surfing. Coming up on Justice for All. So then how did your surfboard get broken? He actually he brought it back into the shallows and snapped it over his knee. You did, Mr. Corey? I, I did. Okay. All right, so why don't you explain to me what happened, Mr. Corey? Absolutely. We're back with the case of Ashton Ryder, who is suing Tristan Corey for property damage. Go ahead, Mr. Corey, what happened? Your Honor, I have a drawing if you'd like to see exactly what happened. Um, sure. Uh, if you have any other evidence, please give it to Renard now. Sure. So, okay, so this is a very colorful drawing. So, this is you? Uh, yes, that's me. And, uh... The turtle-looking guy is the plaintiff uh, down on the bottom right. Okay. And my son is the ex, and as you can see, he's shredding the wave. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do, enjoying himself. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. And so the plaintiff's son is the green ex. So your son is the red ex. Correct. And so he's already on the wave. Absolutely. And, and you, and you then, then have to defer to my son because he's already riding the wave. Yes. Yeah, so that's dangerous. What you're doing, Logan, right there, right? Yeah, I, it was a beautiful wave. I looked, I didn't see him. I didn't see any surfers up there when, when I decided to take it. Okay, but you do admit, and even your dad admits, that you did drop in. I admit I dropped in, yeah. Okay. That's not being contested here. Okay, all right, okay. So then what happened, Logan, when, when you dropped in? So tell me what happened. I mean, I dropped in, and next thing I know, he hits me. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah, we collided. Made sure he was okay, and then his dad just rips me off my board. Oh, really? Yeah, he came over, he was yelling things at me, like, you kook, and... He, he came over, he grabbed me Loser by the arm. and some expletives. Mm -hmm. Very loudly yelling. Okay. And where were you, Mr. Ryder, when this was happening? I, well, right about where the turtle is. Okay. <laughs> but, um... All right, but no, that by this time, so did you grab him in the ocean, Mr. Corey? Your Honor, this is sounding way more dramatic than it no, actually was. No, no, I just was. want to know. So, okay, yes. so, all right, let's let Logan finish, and then sure. you can jump I, in, I'd, okay? I'd, I'd love that opportunity. So the next thing you know, Mr. Corey grabbed you. He grabbed me, he grabs my arm, he rips me off the board, and then I see my dad come up and grab him, okay. which... You guys were all still in the water, or were you out of the water? Yes. No, in we're the, still in the water. In the water. Oh, okay, okay, uh-huh. So my dad grabs him, and me and Brooklyn kind of got out of there and we're watching them throw punches and fight in the water hmm. and I mean as scary as the collision was watching them fight was a lot worse, worse. yeah yeah have you ever seen your dad fight no yeah it's not a thing that happens often but I guess someone touches his kid yeah we do we do amazing things for our children okay so then how did your surfboard get broken um he actually, he brought it back into the shallows and snapped it over his knee. You did, Mr. Corey? Uh, I did. Okay. All right, so why don't you explain to me what happened, Mr. Corey? Absolutely. So when the plaintiff's son dropped in on my son, I saw it before my own eyes, and I knew at that point that a lesson needed to be taught. Safety is paramount. That's mm -hmm. what we do at Breakwater, and we teach lessons. We always handle it. We police ourselves. So I paddled towards the boys, told them that we need to go to shore, we need to talk about, get in the sand, talk about what just happened. Yeah, by screaming and yelling. Okay, but, no. but, but ha, ha, is that what you really did? Be honest with me. Uh, or did uh, you first grab him and no, throw no, him No, 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 Your Honor. So what happened was I wanted both boys to come to me so I could have a conversation with them. The plaintiff's son ignored me. He paddled away from me. Is that and true? so that was... Yeah, he started yelling at me. I started paddling towards Catalina. I mean, your, your he's Honor, a big guy. He's... Your Honor, we, we have been friends. We all know each other. We, we've grown, we, we grew up together, and they obviously grew up together. 
he knows my dad, and he knows that my dad would never hurt anybody. He he knows my dad's a loving father. And well, I'm sure he is, but he did grab your friend. It was I was trying to grab the surfboard, and I ended up grabbing him by the wetsuit, pulling him towards me. And before mm -hmm. I could say, "Hey, let's have a you conversation," were angry, of course, yeah, I did. Just like I would, you know, touch anyone. It's it's just very nonviolent. Mm -hmm. The next thing I know, <laughs> I got punched on the side of the face. Because I got punched, that's when a fight ensued. So we mm. got to fighting. Okay. So I was, and, excuse me, Ron. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just, uh, so we got in a fight. The plaintiff was just belligerent. He was going nuts on me, yelling all these things, saying that I'm an abusive person and that I need to get the hell out of there and all this type of stuff. So I still needed to teach that lesson to the plaintiff's son. And I did that by taking his board, I took it into the shallow end, After and broke it over my knee. Off of it. Again. But that's not your lesson to teach, and that's not how you teach a lesson, by, by, by destroying somebody else's property. It's all great that you guys have the ultimate respect, and there's unwritten rules about what you should do and you should not do. But when destroying somebody else's property and getting violent with each other happens, that's not teaching a lesson. That's certainly not teaching a lesson to your kids. Um, Brooklyn, I know this is very difficult of you to say, and if you don't want to answer it, I totally respect it. Tell me honestly, uh, was your dad angry? I don't think he was as angry as anybody else would have been. Okay. Um, um, did like, you like see a little bit? Him, did you see him a little bit angrier than than most times? Not, not really. I mean, he's. Have you he's ever seen your dad me. break something? No, never like that. I was actually shocked that he could break that over his knee. Okay. If we want to be All right. honest. Okay, no, that's that's what I wanted to know. All right, so um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think you guys practice an eye for an eye, and I understand that you know this is a very dangerous practice about dropping in, and I and I really understand what's going on, but uh, I don't know how um, we're going to teach a lesson here. Coming up on Justice for All. He's not as good of a shaper as he thinks he is. Easy. Okay. That board is done. Trust me, I know surfing. I've been surfing as long as he has. That board's done. We're back with the case of Ashton Ryder, who is suing Tristan Corey for property damage. Sometimes when we're angry, it's, um, it's hard to, for us to see ourselves because I'm trying to think, if this were my child, what would I do? Oh, I'd probably lose it. I would probably lose it too. But I have to, we have to somehow right, contain ourselves. You're on, yeah. I think he was also angry because he saw I dinged his son's board. Okay. Yeah, Your Honor, just to be clear, my son's board was destroyed. Ding not is destroyed. Ding is not the correct word. My son's board was shredded. It's done. Mm. So when you're talking about an eye for an eye, it was an eye for an eye. Oh, it almost I cancels see. each other out. Both boys no. need new surfboards. Oh, okay. Your Honor, the damage to his son's board was my son's fins on the board went into his board, which is a gash through here, uh -huh. easily fixable. I'm a shaper. Okay. I know how that goes. It's an easy, easy fix. This fix? You can't fix. This board structure, it's done. Like, I can fix it. So you really can't fix again. your son Brooklyn's board? No, my dad your can Honor, fix it, no problem. Your Honor. What do you think Brooklyn Your Honor, my, my friend is a shaper. However, he's not as good of a shaper as he thinks he is. Easy. Okay. That board is done. Trust me, I know surfing. I've been surfing as long as he has. That board's done. Okay, he so why aren't you countersuing for that? Because that's not how we handle things at the breakwater, Your Honor. That's not how we handle things. Mm. He punched me in the face, I punched back, we handled that out there in the water. I wanted to handle all this civilly, calmly, in the water, you on the sand. I hate to tell you, you didn't. I tried my best, uh, Your Honor. Yelling at each other, punching at each other, breaking a board over your knee, that is not civil. Coming up. I've been in his shop. He literally has 10,000 surfboards. He doesn't need a new surfboard. I don't even know really why we're here. Because you broke his son's uh, surfboard. We're back with the case of Ashton Ryder, who is suing Tristan Corey for property damage. Your Honor, the irony in all this, he's a shaper. I've been in his shop. He literally has 10,000 surfboards. He doesn't need a new surfboard. I don't even know really why we're here. Because you broke his son's uh, surfboard. I mean, it's not funny, but you did that. 
I ha I can resolve this, but I mean, it sounds like you two fathers are too stubborn to actually resolve this. And yes, be firm with him, be angry, but don't don't scare the kid where he's going back to Catalina. And and you don't jump right away. Wait and see what happens. If you see your son's going, you you tell your friend that you've known all of your life. Hey, Tristan, calm down. You're absolutely right. Logan should have never done that. I will deal with it. What would you like me to do? In I will deal with it. Your and Honor. I'm sorry he destroyed Brooklyn's uh, surfboard. Let me try to pay for that. Let me figure it out. That's what I think ideally you guys should have done. Your Honor. And that's the code of human decency. But you guys went off a little bit differently. And then you have these two boys who are friends and who are sitting there fidgeting, trying to figure out, oh, gee, what do I say now? And I don't know, if you're trying to teach lessons about life through surfing, you guys aren't doing a very good job. Um, you know, um, if the defendant is willing to pay the $400 to cover the cost of the board, um, I do have plenty of boards. So I'd be more than happy to give Brooklyn one. Would you trust that he has a board that would be good for your son? Your Honor, you're asking me to trust a man that punched me in the side of the face when I was literally just trying to talk to his son. You hit him too. Wow, man. Try to make peace. Judge Perez's verdict when justice for all returns. You know, the code, the surfing code is not just on the ocean. I would imagine you translate it to life. All right? So for this one, just because I think it's important that your son teaches you a lesson, I'm going to let him decide, along with his friend, what's going to happen in this case. So Brooklyn, tell me what you want me to do, and you two agree. Talk right now. You have less than 15 seconds to figure out what you do. If not, my decision will you probably either will not like. So look at okay, each other and discuss this. Look, no matter what happens, we're still going to be friends, best friends, you know. So we're bros. We're going to hit the waves, of course. But you need to be bored. So I do. What do you I think do. Either that? way, um, it's up. It's, it's on you. Um, I, I like my dad's proposal. He gets a new board, and it's settled. Your okay. Honor, uh, on behalf of me and my dad, I, I feel like we can be the bigger person and just pay the four hundred and okay. be done with it. All right, agreed. I'll take that. And the writers are going to allow Brooklyn to come to your store and pick a brand new surfboard. Happy. Okay. It's not that I want to stick it to you, Mr. Corey. They're losing out on money. I, I just want you to know that. Okay. But this is how we resolve this here in this courtroom. Okay. We let. Intelligent young men understand and be accountable for what they did and try to move on, okay? I know you guys will be friends, but I hope you gentlemen can understand that the example you give your kids carries you a long way, okay? Good luck, guys. All rise. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to replace the surfboard. Honestly, I got a new board, you got a new board. Turned out pretty sweet.